morning from the Lake District. We are in the Newlands Valley today and we're just going to do the Newlands Horseshoe. Um, so we're just skating around the bottom of uh, Cat Bells now, just up to my right here. Um, just parked in Little Town down there, so that puts us sort of between both ends of the Horseshoe. Um, so we haven't got too far of a walk back uh, to the car at the end. Lovely day today, it's pretty chilly, uh, about five degrees. Um, so it was cold when we got out of the car, but as soon as we've started walking, we've started to, uh, to warm up already. Feeling a bit uh, a bit out of fitness, just uh, spent a few days in the south of France, so I'm uh, about 90% cheese and 10% uh, wine. <laughs> so hopefully burn off a few calories today. So the uh, Motley crew we've got in tow today is Chris, Key, Sai. You can probably see uh, George just in the middle there. Um, so whilst it is cold, it's uh, nice and bright. So perfect walking conditions really. Some great views already out towards uh, Skidder there. Um, so it does take quite a long, uh, quite a long stretch around the sides of, uh, of Cat Bells here. So we're uh, walking along the flat a bit, and then we will uh, we will begin the ascent up to Cat Bells, um, and then really we should uh, should get some views of uh, quite a large portion of uh, of the Lake District opening up in front of us. Um, views across Derwent Water as well. And hopefully this uh, yeah this weather keeps up all day. Absolutely stunning already. So we'll trudge along the flat and then uh, I'll pick things up with you once we start the uh, the ascent, if I can speak. <laughs> nearly at the top of Cat Bells here. Uh, the views are brilliant already. Swin side just here. Uh, more importantly, the Swin side in I think at the bottom uh, where we'll go for the post walk refreshments. Uh, you can see Skidder, Lancathra and uh, great views across uh, Derwent Water here just up into, uh, into Keswick there on the, uh, on the far shore. You can see uh, autumn starting to creep in. Tinges of uh, orange and brown on the uh, the ferns here. Some of the trees just starting to get a hint of yellow about them. A bit too early for uh, them to be in the full uh, full range of oranges and browns. Uh, probably be towards the end of October, I think. Good excuse to come again. Uh, so yeah, nearly at the top. Um, the paths were just being maintained back there um, by the National Trust, I think. Because it is a uh, it is a popular hill, this with it being so close to Keswick um, and relatively small. It's only 451 meters, I think, it said on the map. Um, so a popular one for families, although pretty quiet at the moment. But then uh, we did set off early. Um, what's the time now? Uh, on my watch is buzzing away at me. Can't get off the uh, can't get off the stopwatch. Um, but yeah, it must be must only be about nine o'clock. Um, so not many, not many families out yet. So this will be number one of the day ticked off. Uh, let me do six on this route. I um, can't remember the names of them all now off the top of my head. <laughs> so I'll check the map, check the map, and uh, list them off uh, once we get a bit further up here. So I mistakenly thought the previous peak was the top of Cat Bells, as I've said on several previous videos. Do not <laughs> use my videos as navigational aids. Um, so this is the peak of Cat Bells. Um, I have walked this as a kid. Uh, don't remember it much though, to be honest. Um, steeper than I thought, really. 
Um, so just gave the uh, laces a tighten. I'm going to trudge up here. I have uh, put the boots on today, the old salawas. I was going to wear trainers again. Uh, so just found it so much uh, easier walking in them last time when we did red screes. But there has been quite a bit of rain uh, over the past 24 hours. Um, well, it doesn't seem to have touched around here. It seems pretty dry so far. Um, but I thought I'd put the boots on just in case. Because uh, they are pretty bomb proof, these. We're just starting to get a little bit steeper now. I will be short of breath, so rather than have me uh, grunting down the microphone, I'll turn it off until we uh, get to the top. Are you heading 15? Yeah, that's a bit weird, that. So we just summited cat bells over my shoulder there. Uh, and I took the time to actually learn the names of the other Wainwrights we're doing today. Um, so just ahead, we're heading to uh, Maiden Moor, and then it's onto High Spy and Dale Head, which I think is the highest point of the day. Um, then we sort of cut in a little bit to uh, Hindscarth, and then the last one of the day is Robinson. Um, so I think what we do is we go up here and then out the back there is the sort of head of the horseshoe and then down here uh, back to the car so the clouds has started to come in uh, from that direction still pretty bright over there um, still pretty good walking conditions though there isn't really a breath of wind so we're still just in a, uh, a single base layer but obviously it can be changeable uh, and I think there is rain forecast for about three, four o'clock today. Well, hopefully we should have had uh, the vast majority of it done by then. Um, or even be in the uh, safety of the boozer. So we're losing a bit of height here um, before we start going up again. Uh, you can just see Sai in the middle of the party. So we'll just get a wriggle on and catch up with him before I lose everyone. my shoulder there um, not sure where the name comes from uh, similarly with cat bells um, my assumption is that with cat bells is because it, it looks like a cat's bell it's have around its neck probably not it's probably a corruption of a an older uh, English or Norse word um, so if you do know put it in the comments and enlighten me but as you can tell by the uh, coat the weather's changed started to rain uh, only drizzling really um, still not much wind but it's a new coat got it in the uh, sale actually Revolution Race uh, it's quite heavily discounted because I think the new season stuff was coming out but what I've just done is um, down here I don't know if you can see it's got your pocket there and then it's also got just behind it um, the air vents that you unzip so I went to put my phone in my pocket Put it in the air vent, started walking, it's just uh, crashed to the floor, uh, but luckily it's not damaged. Um, so yeah, we're just on the way mm -hmm. to the next one, next Wayne, right? Third one of the day, which is High Spy. Again, no idea why it's called that. Uh, so again, if you know, let me know. Just had to put the uh, rain covers on the bags as well. Uh, stop the cheap meal deal butties getting drenched. Um, Still got specks of brightness on the horizon there, but over this way it is uh, it is coming in, and of course that is the way we're going. So we're making up some good time now, just along the uh, the flat bits here. Um, it's not too cold. Mountain weather said I think it'd get down to about minus two on the feels like temperatures. Um, not sure how true that is though, because um, I think you know the 
the feels like temperature comes from the wind chill and there is just no wind so it's probably more like feels like one or two degrees um not not uncomfortable at all um pretty good walking conditions actually so yeah we'll pick up the pace along here uh start the ascent to high spy um and then i think after that it's dale head as i said which is the highest point of the day and then it's basically uh the way back home then although i think in total this says it'll take about seven to eight hours in uh in the book um using gray mooney's walking the way and writes book once again um that said seven to eight hours i plotted it on the os app and that put it as uh seven and a half hours i think so um yeah he, he's pretty much uh pretty much bang on there i think uni assuming we don't stop for lunch for too long um but highly recommend his book i think i've probably said it i think i've probably said it on previous videos um you know it hasn't seen us wrong so far um and all the routes that i've plotted on the os app are from his book um and they're just uh i just share them publicly so you'll probably be able to find them on the os app if you've got it um i always put uni route in brackets after it um so if you just search uni route it'll it'll come up with all the ones i've uh, I've plotted previously there was an earlier book uh that we used by stuart marshall um i'm sure some of you have probably had it or maybe even still use it but the routes in there um they were just a bit ridiculous to be honest um taking you up places uh you know where there was no path or ridiculously long and, and arduous routes um we did the greater grisdale horseshoe um one of our first walks before i started the channel um and that went up striding edge Berkhouse moor helvellyn you know catsty uh, not catsty cam sorry dolly wagon nethermost pike and then you dropped all the way back down to the tarn out the back all the way up seat sandal down there up saint sunday crag berks arneson crag uh felt like it took us all day um i think we were in bed in the youth hostel for about eight o'clock then so it was at that point we decided a new guide was required <laughs> put that book in the drawer and uh bought the uni book um so yeah it's uh yeah, just go into amazon and, and search for it um i think it's still in print um but yeah really useful guide so looking pretty ominous over there now uh that's the way we're coming back to um so see how we get on might have to put the hat and gloves on soon Pretty uh, prominent cairn. Uh, the rain's stopped a little bit now. It is brightening up over there, so hopefully, we'll be able to take the jacket off soon. I think we're going to uh, stop for a little bit of lunch now. Uh, feeling uh, pretty famished, to be honest. And you can see the way we're going to go over them ways somewhere. I assume we don't come down this. <laughs> we must come down the, uh, the longer, more uh, gradual descent there. So we've got the ham and cheese butties out, the walker sensations, refuel and then crack on again. So we had a chat and after much further deliberation decided to uh, go with the steeper, more direct route. That's why I'm not looking at the camera now. Because <laughs> there are steps here but uh, they're pretty slick underfoot. Um, 
so yeah it's not as bad as it looked from uh, over there but it's still pretty steep to be honest uh, as you can tell from my breath <laughs> but I think uh, you know by going around that way it would have added what another 40 minutes onto the uh, onto the walk I think uh, so yeah I've gone, uh, gone direct uh, so I'll, uh, I'll turn off before I go on my backside see you again at the top Dale Head. As you can see, it is completely clagged in. Uh, so coming up the steep way, as I said, uh, it was a trudge, um, but wasn't half as bad as what it looked like from uh, the other side um, when we were on High Spy. Um, so this is fourth main right of the day. Got two more to go. Uh, Hines, Garth, and Robinson, which are over that way somewhere. I'll have to get the GPS out. Um, so probably another two hours, I'd say. I'll be back at the car and then off to the swing side. Here's the other two intrepid travellers. Right, so trudge on, Hanscarth next, and hold up, I think. day behind me Hindscarth uh, a bit annoying really because it's uh, sort of out and back um, so you you know you're retreading ground you've already covered so the next one is Robinson just here we have to drop down again uh, so not only have we lost distance but we're also going to lose elevation um, but you can see I've dropped down a bit now the ridge we walked across here cat bells down there maiden moor High Spy, uh, drop down, Dale Head. Um, so yeah, I think we just sort of drop off the uh, precipice here. Um, and then it looked like there was a bit of a fence or a wall that we can uh, we can handrail. Um, so I think we lose about 200 meters dropping down um, before it kicks back up again. Uh, and then we're on the home straight. Scarth came down the path there. Si and Chris, you'll see the uh, Honest to Slate mine there, Fleetwith Pike, and its dangerous descent. 
Um, and now another pretty steep trudge up Robinson. Could do without this, to be honest. <laughs> I was still on top of Hindscar thinking, which one's Robinson here? Surely it can't be that one over there. Desperately looking for a smaller uh, fell in between, but no luck. It is indeed this one. Uh, but this will be the last ascent of the day. And then we'll just hook her right and we'll be uh, home and dry in no time at all. He says. Can't remember if I spoke or not when we did uh, Robinson there, did I? Altitude must be going to my head. Um, so if I've not, that was Robinson. <laughs> it was a uh, fair old slog getting up there. Um, but we're just on the home straight now. Uh, you can just see Keswick in the distance, I think. Should be able to make it out. So I think we hop down here and then that sort of lower mound there. Don't know what it's called, apologies. Uh, should just drop down and then uh, we'll be back to the car park. Uh, can I see the Swin Side Inn from here? I think it's one of those white buildings just by the foot of Cat Bells, possibly. Well, I could be totally wrong. Um, but yeah, it's been uh, <laughs> been pretty arduous at times, this walk. Enjoyable, uh, pretty changeable weather. Glad to be on the way back down though, I think. Yeah, you can really start to get an appreciation of the uh, the distance we've covered here. Um, because Cat Bells isn't this first layer or the second layer. It's that third layer there. See where it goes up and then kinks up again. That's Cat Bells. And then going all the way along. Just about see the cairn there on High Spy. And then we've dropped down. Dundale Head, which is the you probably can't pick it up at all here on the camera, but the pair of this most can. And then drop down again, Hindscarth, drop down that path, came up Robinson. Um, so it has been a bit of a grueler, to be honest. Here, which doesn't look a lot from here, but uh, it was pretty slippy. We were sort of going along the uh, striations as we were coming down, so I had to get on the, uh, the back sides. Uh, so we're just going to drop down here, hopefully there's no more scrambling, and then I think up this little mound, and then that'll be it for the elevation for the day, but I'm sure I've said that about five times already, and it keeps on surprising us, unfortunately. We just need to get back now. about to cross the beck uh, and then I think we're pretty much back at the car park um, so I'll call it a day there for the video oh, sorry about the chest no one needs to see that um, yeah it's been a, been a good walk uh, really changeable weather's brightened up a lot now um, six Wainwrights in the bag 
uh, and on to the, uh, the next one now, I suppose. Um, don't know where that's going to be. Um, and I've still got the, uh, the wild camping video um, to put up from when I went up near um, the Langdale Pikes. Mine's gone blank, absolutely shattered. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the Swinside Inn now for a pint or two. Um, and then for the evening, we are staying in Grasmere, Old Faithful. Um, gonna have something to eat in the swan, I think, and then spend the rest of the evening in Tweedies. So until next time, see you later.